this is the 25th anniversary of the yeah. Americans with Disabilities Act, and there's a whole lot to celebrate. I mean, there's been a sea change in, in, a, in, in America, and frankly, in the world. The United States has had an impact all over the world in, uh, with respect to the, the principles that we, uh, we established and the work that we've done. However, nonetheless, there are gaps. There are not enough people working. People with disabilities want to work, and the unemployment rate among people with disabilities is relatively much higher than the general population. We thought transportation was coming along. People with disabilities would have fair and equal access to transportation. But now comes Uber and Lyft, and these companies refuse to provide access to people with disabilities. That's wrong. It shouldn't be that way. If they're going to provide a public service, they should provide it to the whole public, including people with disabilities. We have issues with some uh, uh, public uh, services that are not accessible. I Last night on the way here to Oklahoma City from Houston, stopped at a hotel and I wasn't able to stay there because that hotel was not accessible according to the ADA. That's just unbelievable now. 25 years after the law was passed in the 21st century, they had a facility that they had yet to adapt to make it accessible to people with disabilities. We have a great need for community-based services. Uh, people now who need assistance in the home find it very difficult to get that assistance. It's a, it's a real need, it's a real challenge, and it's an opportunity, I think. Yeah. It's an opportunity for us to look ahead, see what needs to be done, and take action. Yeah.